Hi there, this is Dan of Pro Poker Tools. In this video, I'm going to go over all in equity simulations. So, all in equity is the percentage of the pot each player stands to win on average, assuming everybody goes all in. This is probably the most common kind of poker simulation you'll come across. Some examples of tools that will do these for you, ProPokerTools.com, of course, The Odds Oracle, Poker Stove, Two Dimes.net, etc. Um, this is a probably the most fundamental metric people use to evaluate their position in a hand, so there are a lot of tools out there that'll do this. Um, it's useful for computing hand versus hand equities. You know, I've got two black aces and he has jack ten of diamonds, but it, it really shows its um, usefulness when we're talking about hands versus ranges. So, you know, I've got a pair of aces and he's got any one of a number of hands. Um, there are two kinds of ways to perform all in equity simulations. The first is a randomized, otherwise known as Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, we're going to take a look at an example of the odds oracle. Uh, jack of spades, ten of spades versus a random hand. So I'm going to bring up the odds oracle here. Jack of spades, ten of spades, and a random hand. And after my simulation runs, I see that player 1 has 57.54% equity, and player 2 has 42.45% equity. And these equity values take ties into account. Just remember, this is the percent of the pot you win on average. The uh, way this is done, in a nutshell, you, you pick random hands for each player, you generate a random board, and you see who won or tied and you do that over and over again. In this case we did it 600,000 times, so this number here is the number of final boards that were dealt. Uh, generally speaking, the more simulations you run, the more accurate your results will be, but there is a lot of diminishing returns here. If I go into preferences and I set the number of trials to say 30,000, if I run this just watch this number, I'm going to run it a bunch of times, so it's 57.68, 0.68 again, 58, 0 0.27, 57, 0.54, 57, so it's, it's bouncing around between 57.3 and 58.2. Uh, if I increase the number of trials, we'll see that it still bounces around, but much less. So here we have 57.2, 57.2, 0.6, 0.4, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.
Uh, the downside is it becomes unreasonably slow for situations with too many possibilities. So, you know, if I put in another random hand and I put in another random hand and I ask for exhaustive, well, you could be sitting here for a very, very, very long time. So, uh, not always practical, but really nice when it is. Which to choose? Well, clearly the best to use is fully enumerated whenever it's possible. Uh, ProPokerTools.com, the website, will choose for you automatically. And the Odds Oracle has this auto setting by default. You can override. So if you choose auto here, it will pick whichever strategy it makes most sense. So if, if fully enumerated is going to be really fast, it'll do that. Otherwise, it'll go auto. So if I do a, something smaller like this. It'll, it'll do exhaustive for me. And that's just about it. Hope you liked the video and watch out for more.